Good evening, I'm Paul Fraser and this is the latest news from Bahrain International. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa today arrived in Abu Dhabi on a private visit to the United Arab Emirates. His Majesty the King was received on his arrival by the ruler's representative in Al Dafra region, His Highness Sheikh Hamdan bin Zayed Al Nahyan. He was received by the United Arab Emirates ambassador designate to the Kingdom of Bahrain, Sheikh Sultan bin Hamdan bin Zayed Al Nahyan, Staff Major General Pilot Thadis Khalaf Khalfan Al Mazrui. Chairman of the Critical Infrastructure and Coastal Protection Authority, Bahrain's Ambassador to the United Arab Emirates, Mohammed bin Hamid Sakar Al Mada, and other UAE state officials. His Majesty, the Supreme Commander, King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, in the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, patronised today the joint live ammunition military drill, Power of Determination, which was held by the Bahrain Defence Force, the BDF. Forces from the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates participated in the drill which was held on the occasion of the BDF's Golden Jubilee. Upon arrival, His Majesty was received by the Commander-in-Chief of the BDF, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, the Minister of Defence Affairs, Lieutenant General Yusuf bin Ahmed Al Jalhama, the BDF Chief of Staff, Lieutenant General Dahab bin Sagar al Noemi and a number of senior officers. His Majesty was accompanied by the Commander of the Royal Guard, His Highness Brigadier General Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid al Khalifa, and the Minister of the Royal Court, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed al Khalifa. As His Majesty arrived to the location of the celebration, he was received by the Chief of the General Staff of Saudi Arabia's Armed Forces, Lieutenant General Abdul Rahman bin Salah al Banyan the Chief of Staff of the UAE's Armed Forces and the Commander of the Joint Peninsula Shield Forces, Major General Walid bin Fala al Dahari, who have congratulated His Majesty on the BDS Golden Jubilee. His Majesty welcomed them, expressing appreciation for their participation in the drill. الرحمن الرحيم 
وأعدوا لهم ما استطعتم من قوة صدق الله العظيم سيدي صاحب الجلالة الملك حمد بن عيسى آل خليفة عاهل البلاد المفدى القائد الأعلى حفظكم الله ورعاكم سيدي صاحب السمو الملكي الأمير سلمان بن حمد آل خليفة ولي العهد نائب القائد الأعلى النائب الأول لرئيس مجلس الوزراء حفظكم الله ورعاكم سيدي صاحب المعالي المشير الركن الشيخ خليفة بن أحمد آل خليفة القائد العام لقوة دفاع البحرين حفظكم الله ورعاكم أصحاب السمو أصحاب المعالي والسعادة ضيوفنا الكرام أيها الحفل الكريم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته سيدي صاحب الجلالة يشرفنا أن نرحب بكم أجمل ترحيب في هذا اليوم الأغر ونحن نحتفل بمرور خمسين عاما على تأسيس جلالتكم حفظكم الله قوة دفاع البحرين وختام التمرين التعبوي قوة العزم تحت رعاية جلالتكم أيدكم الله والذي تشارك فيه قوة دفاع البحرين ومشاركة أشقاء من المملكة العربية السعودية ودولة الإمارات العربية المتحدة سيدي صاحب الجلالة خير ما نستهل به حفلنا هذا آيات عطرة من الذكر الحكيم يتلوها على مسامعكم الرائد ناصر راشد الغدير أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم يا أيها الذين آمنوا إذا لقيتم الذين كفروا زحفا فلا تولوهم الأدبار ومن يولهم يومئذ دبره إلا متحرفا لقتال أو متحيزا إلى فئة أو متحيزا إلى فئة فقد باء بغضب من الله ومأواه جهنم وبئس المصير فلم تقتلوهم ولكن الله قتلهم وما رميت إذ رميت ولكن الله رمى وليبلي المؤمنين منه بلاء حسنا إن الله سميع عليم ذلكم وأن الله موهن كيد الكافرين إن تستفتحوا فقد جاءكم الفتح وإن تنتهوا فهو خير لكم وإن تعودوا نعد ولن تغني عنكم فئتكم شيئا ولو كثرت وأن الله وأن الله مع المؤمنين صدق الله العظيم His Majesty was briefed on the phases of the drill and the set goals. جلالة على بركة الله وبفضل من نبدأ ختام التمرين التعبوي قوة العزم والذي يأتي بالذكرى الخمسين لتأسيس جلالتكم أيدكم الله قوة دفاع البحرين تبدأ الآن الطائرات المقاتلة قصف أهدافها 
His Majesty announced the beginning of the exercise and the participating forces performed their assigned tasks with great precision. His Majesty congratulated the BDF's officers, non-commissioned officers and members as well as to the people of Bahrain on this national occasion. His Majesty expressed appreciation for the efforts of the BDF's affiliates and their dedication to performing their noble tasks, noting their extensive contributions to developing the National March. He also hailed their efforts in solidarity with their brothers to defend the region and maintain world peace. His Majesty the King expressed appreciation for the sacrifices they have made for their country and for the better future which they have created for the coming generations. His Majesty recalled the laying of the foundation stone of the BDF by the late His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman Al Khalifa as one of the main achievements during his era. He added that the BDF anniversary is a remarkable event in the National March and the source of pride, affirming his confidence in the BDF officers. His Majesty the King then expressed thanks to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa, for their keenness and support to the armed forces, expressing appreciation for their role in enhancing the forces' abilities throughout their march. He also expressed thanks to the BDF commander for his efforts in developing the force, expressing appreciation for the efforts of the BDF's elite officers since its establishment. His Majesty the King welcomed the armed forces of Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates, which participated along with the Bahrain Defence Force in the drill. His Majesty affirmed that this participation reflects the strong cooperation between the forces, evident in their participation of Operation Restoring Hope as part of the Arab coalition led by Saudi Arabia. He also noted the strong historic stance of these countries against terrorism in all its forms, adding that the current challenges of the region requires integration and unity. His Majesty also hailed the high level of performance and professionalism demonstrated in the exercise by the participating countries, valuing the role of the organizers of this comprehensive drill. His Majesty the King affirmed that the Bahrain Defence Force will continue its efforts, as it always has, to maintain the security and stability of the Kingdom, wishing all participants further success. نشاهد سوية سيتعامل بعد قليل صواريخ الميم دال الكورنت مع أهداف الدروع المعادية وهو من الأسحة الحديثة المضادة للدروع والتحصينات ويتميز بدقة الإصابة كما تبدأ الدبابات رمايتها المباشرة على أهداف العدو تقوم الآن قوات التثبيت بأداء واجباتها بكل كفاءة واقتدار طائرة بيل 407 
من دولة الإمارة العربية المتحدة دخول طائرات الكوبرا لإسناد قوات الهجوم المعاكس وتتحرك الآن قوات الهجوم المعاكس على يسار المنصة والمكونة من مشاه آلية ودبابات كما تتميز هذه الطائرات بالقدرة العالية على المناورة بدأت الآن قوات الهجوم المعاكس بشن عملياتها على قوات العدو والمكونة من آليات مشاة آلية والدبابات بعد أن نجح الهجوم المعاكس في تحقيق أهدافه لجأت بعض قوات العدو إلى أحد القرى وقد تم تكليف القوة الخاصة الملكية بتطهير القرية من القوات المعادية والمتمركزة فيها وسيتم الهجوم على القرية بواسطة سرية العمليات الخاصة وسرية المقاوير حيث سيتم الهجوم على القرية من خلال عدة مراحل سيدي صاحب الجلالة تمر الآن من أمامكم طائرات سلاح الجو الملكي البحريني وهي تحمل علم مملكة البحرين وصورة سيدي حضرة صاحب الجلالة الملك حمد بن عيسى آل خليفة عاهل البلاد المفدى القائد الأعلى حفظه الله ورعاه وتحمل الطائرة الثالثة شعار قوة دفاع البحرين بمناسبة الذكرى الخمسين صاحب الجلالة يتشرف سيدي سمو ولي العهد نائب القائد الأعلى النائب الأول لرئيس مجلس الوزراء حفظه الله ورعاه بتقديم هدية تذكارية إلى جلالتكم بمناسبة الذكرى الخمسين His Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister presented His Majesty the King with a commemorative gift as the end of the ceremony. يشرف سيدي صاحب المعالي المشير الركن الشيخ خليفه بن احمد ال خليفه القائد العام لقوه الدفاع البحرين. The BDF commander in chief then presented His Royal Highness the Crown Prince with a commemorative gift. حفظه الله ورعاه. سيدي صاحب الجلاله يتشرف سمو العميد الركن الشيخ ناصر بن حمد ال خليفه قائد الحرس الملكي بتقديم هدية تذكارية إلى جلالتكم The Royal Guard Commander, His Highness Brigadier General Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa presented His Majesty the King with a military vehicle that was used by the BDF in 1985.
A number of officers and participants in the drill greeted His Majesty the King. Bahrain Television will present a special programme on the occasion tomorrow after the 8 o'clock news. The Commander-in-Chief of the Bahrain Defence Force, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, inspected the forces participating in the Joint Live Ammunition Military Drill, the power of determination. The Commander-in-Chief stated that the celebration coincides with a dear occasion for all Bahraini people, which is the patronage of His Majesty the King, adding that the Saudi Armed Forces and the United Arab Emirates Armed Forces also participated in the occasion, which contributes to the development of combat levels. He added that he aspires for a better future under the patronage of His Majesty the Supreme Commander, the support of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, chaired the weekly cabinet meeting today at Gudubia Palace. On the occasion of the Golden Jubilee of the Bahrain Defence Force, the BDF, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister hailed the role of the BDF established by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa with his efforts in developing it to achieve excellence in training and armament and to continue protecting the nation and its gains. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister congratulated His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and all BDF affiliates on the national occasion. His Royal Highness directed the Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism to provide all guarantees that support the upcoming electoral process in the Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry. He also directed the creation of technical capabilities, especially the database of the Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, to serve the democratic merit in the commercial environment in a transparent manner. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister instructed the highest levels of quality and international standards to be followed when creating and paving main and vital streets. The Prime Minister also directed to take into consideration the timings of maintenance work to reduce traffic congestion. Finally, His Royal Highness instructed the Ministry of Youth Affairs and Sports to maintain and complete sports facilities in the Jaw and Asker areas.
The Cabinet discussed imposing stricter punishments for the offence of manufacturing, possessing and using flammable and explosive devices with the purpose of endangering the lives of people or public or private property. The Cabinet then referred the memo to the Ministerial Committee for Legal Affairs. The Cabinet followed up on the implementation of ongoing projects numbering 100 in the sectors of roads, sewage and buildings with an estimated value of approximately 164 million Bahraini dinars. The Cabinet also reviewed the projects that were submitted in tenders during 2017 which reached a total of 182. A memorandum of understanding on cooperation between the National Oil and Gas Authority and the Bahrain Petroleum Company, BAPCO, with the British Council for Health, Safety and the Environment, was approved by the Cabinet with the aim of exchanging expertise between the two parties in the field of health and safety in the workplace. The Ministry of Interior was instructed by the Cabinet to study the formation of a security apparatus to protect the aircraft of the national carrier from hijacking and terrorism, following a proposal from the Representatives' Council. Finally, the Cabinet discussed a number of proposals submitted by the Representatives' Council and approved the Government's responses to them as recommended by the Ministerial Committee for Legal Affairs including the direct and indirect government support strategy appointing an authority to supervise the export of chemicals, the role of embassies in the treatment of disease abroad and the manufacture and display of traditional Bahraini crafts. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and Chairman of the Economic Development Board, the EDB, Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa, today issued Edict No. 1 of 2018, appointing a new Board of Directors for the Bahrain Economic Development Board, the EDB, for the term of 2018 to 2021. The EDB Board of Directors, under His Royal Highness's chairmanship, is as follows. His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamid Al Khalifa, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid Al Khalifa, Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, Hassan Abdullah Fakhro, Deputy Chairman, Minister of Finance, Governor of the Central Bank of Bahrain, Minister of Labour and Social Development, Minister of Transport and Telecommunications, Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Chairman of the Economic Affairs and Labour Fund, Tam Keen. Chief Executive Officer of the Economic Development Board, Chairman of the Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Mr. Farouk Youssef Al Moyed, Mr. Saud Abdulaziz Kanu, Dr. Sama Majid Al Jishi, Mr. Youssef Abdullah Ali Redha, Mr. Tariq Jalil Al Safa, Mr. Khalid Ibrahim Humaydin, Mr. Khalid Ali Al Amin. Ms. Najla Mohammed Al Sharawi, Ms. Rasha Mohammed Sabka, Ms. Fatima Aisa Ibrahim. These appointments will take effect with immediately. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander, First Deputy Prime Minister, and President of the Supreme Commission for the Royal Fund for Fallen Servicemen. Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa issued today Edict No. 1 of 2018, appointing Sheikh Khalid bin Salman bin Khalid Al Khalifa as the Director of the Royal Fund for Fallen Servicemen, with immediate effect. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs and Commander of the Royal Guard, His Highness Brigadier General Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid Al Khalifa, congratulated His Majesty King Hamid bin Aisa Al Khalifa on Bahrain Defence Forces, the BDF's Golden Jubilee. His Highness affirmed that the achievements of the BDF over the past 50 years were the result of the solid foundation laid by His Majesty the King. He expressed pride in the BDF's accomplishments and stated that the BDF's primary goal is to protect the kingdom, maintain its security, stability and national gains, as well as participate with brothers to maintain the safety of the region and the world. Thanks to the support and follow-up of His Majesty the King. His Highness Sheikh Nasser added that His Majesty the King developed a clear strategy for the BDF in order for it to steadily grow in various weapons and formations and to maintain the security and stability of the nation and its achievements to serve the Bahraini citizens. 
The BDF also played a humanitarian role by participating in humanitarian and relief work in the region. His Highness commended the BDF's affiliates' outstanding performance, discipline and courage and their defence readiness, combat and military efficiency, which is a source of pride for the wise leadership and the people and a regional and international model. His Highness Brigadier General continued to say that over the past 50 years, the BDF has been performing its roles professionally and efficiently, primarily protecting the country against all enemies. He noted that the BDF proved that its role as a stability maintaining force in the region that contributes to maintaining regional security and peace with its contributions in many military and humanitarian tasks. His Highness Sheikh Nasser pledged that he and all the BDF affiliates will be at His Majesty's service to maintain Bahrain's security and stability and to protect it from all who wish it harm. Royal Guard Commander, His Highness Brigadier General Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid Al Khalifa, patronised today the graduation of a new batch of Royal Guard recruits. In the presence of the Commander of the Royal Guard's Special Force, His Highness Major Sheikh Khalid bin Hamid Al Khalifa. The ceremony began with a practical military parade led by His Highness Captain Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa, including slow and fast military manoeuvres. A detailed presentation was made by the Commandants of the Royal Guard School about the theoretical and practical programmes, applications and exercises implemented throughout the stages of training. نلتقي بسموكم الكريم ونحن نحتفل بتخريج نخبة جديدة من الجنود المستجدين الدفعة 23 والذين قاضوا 16 أسبوعا من العمل الدؤوب متسلحين بالعلم والمعرفة وبشكل عام جنود من أبطال قوة الدفاع فلا يسعني إلا أني أشكركم وأشكر هؤلاء الأهالي المتواجدين معنا لتربية هؤلاء الأبطال ليكون معنا صفا بصف في أراضي الشرف والمعارك لخدمة لخدمة الدين والوطن. His Highness the Commander of the Royal Guard distributed the certificates to the graduates as well as appreciative prizes to the high achievers. On the occasion, His Highness praised the high morale spirits he sensed from the graduates and their military skills gained during the course. His Highness thanked the course instructors for their plausible efforts exerted to attain the outstanding professional level exhibited by the course graduates. His Highness urged the graduates to continue their academic and career progress, wishing them further success. <laughs> 